So, so far, we looked at the page rank formulation, we looked at the linear algebra formulation, and we now looked at the uh, ren walk kind of intuition of page rank. And we, in the, in the last slide of previous lecture, we just uh, said that, the, that under certain conditions, uh, this page rank vector will be unique. So now the question is, what are these certain conditions that matrix M has to satisfy in order for the page rank to exist and to be unique? And now what we will learn is basically we will learn the, the real, the Google formulation of the, of the page rank algorithm. So what we know so far is that the importance of a page uh, J in, 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 a, in a web graph is simply the sum of the importances of pages I that point to it. And when, when we sum these things together, we divide them by the out degree of, of the, of the tar uh, source page. And we, what we established is that this equation that I have here is simply can be written as a matrix equation. So now there are three questions we need to answer. First, does this M equal, uh, R equals M times R, does this converge? Second, does it converge to what we want? And third, are our results reasonable? So what we'll do next is we'll answer these questions one by one. So here is the first question, does this converge? Imagine a very simple graph, only two nodes, um, and node A points to node B, and B points back to A. And now imagine we want to run our power iteration. And as I, as I showed in the, in the last slide, we said that the page rank vector is unique and it, the stationary distribution will always be reached regardless of how we initialize our initial vector. So now imagine I, we initialize our, our vector r, r at, r at time zero, to be simply to, to, have, to have two values, to have uh, one, value one on the coordinate a and have value zero on coordinate b. Now when we are multiplying m times r, what will happen is the score of a gets passed to b and score of b gets passed to a. So at the next time step, the coordinates will flip. And now when we multiply again, the coordinates will flip again. Right? So what we see here is that we will never converge. All, the, all that is happening here is that um, uh, the score of 1 gets passed between a and b and score of 0 gets passed between b and a. So it seems that our, our page rank computation will never converge. This problem is called the spider trap problem. I will explain it a bit more later. So, so far it seems that our method for computing page rank, the way we defined it so far, doesn't really work. So we looked at the spider trap problem that I'll talk more about later. And here is another problem with the current formulation of page rank, and this is called the dead end problem. And here, the, the, the thing is even a simpler graph than what we had before um, breaks our algorithm. So let's consider a very simple graph, two nodes, one edge, kind of, couldn't be simpler. And let's think of the same initialization vector as we had before. So uh, A starts with score one, B starts with score zero. So what, what happens in this case is in the first multiplication with matrix M, the, score, the scores gets flipped. Um, but now what happens in the second uh, step of multiplication is basically the score of 1 gets lost, right? The, a, B is not able to pass the score to anyone else, so the score gets lost and we converge to this vector of zeros, which is, which is a problem. So what we will do now is actually talk about these two problems of spider traps and dead ends in, in more detail and develop solutions for them. So to summarize, there are two problems with how we defined page rank so far. The first problem is the problem of dead ends. So basically the idea is that dead ends are these web pages that have no outgoing links. So what will happen is that importance of these pages will leak out, right? The idea is that basically whenever a web page receives its page rank score and then there is no way for a web page to pass this page rank score to anyone else because it has no outlinks, this page rank score will leak out from our system. And at the end, the page rank scores of all the web pages will be zero, as we saw in the previous example. So that's what is called the dead end problem. And then the spider trap problem, basically the idea is that um, here um, outlinks from web pages can form a small group. So the idea is that the, the, if you think of a random walk interpretation of page rank, basically the random walker will get trapped in a small part of the web graph, and then the random walker will get kind of indefinitely stuck in that part. And at the end, those pages in, in, that, um, in that part of the graph will get very high weight, and every other page will get very low weight. So this is called uh, the problem of spider traps. 
So what we will do next is we'll actually develop a solutions to both of these problems. So let's look at the two of the problems that we, that we just discussed in a bit more detail. So first is the problem of spider traps on a bit more complicated graph. So here is a variant of the graph we, we have from our initial investigation of page rank, the three nodes y, a, and m. And in this case, m is a spider trap, which means m has this uh, self loop. So whenever a random walker gets to node m, it basically gets stuck to it in this infinite loop because there is no other way out, um, out of node m. And all that random walker can do is infinitely walk this self loop from m. So now think of the, the stochastic matrix M um, uh, that we have uh, here on the right. And the question is, what happens to the power iteration as, 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 as we run it and multiply our R with the matrix M? So here is the example. I have my vector R. I initialize it as we, as we said uh, to one over the size of the graph. So uh, one third on every component and I start multiplying uh, with matrix M. What will happen is that at the end, uh, here is the result we will obtain. Basically, the importance of node uh, M will be 1, and the importances of both other nodes will be 0. If you think about the, the uh, random walk interpretation of page rank, this result is, is very much expected, right? If we think of a random walker browsing this three node graph, and we ask after lots and lots of time, where do we think the random walker will be? Basically, the random walker will be stuck at, at, no, at node m with probability 1. What this means is basically wherever the random walker starts, for some time the random walker will be able to walk between y, uh, nodes y and a. But as soon as the random walker crosses the edge to m, it will be stuck in this infinite loop and it will ne never be able to move anywhere else. So this means that basically all the page rank scores or will, be, will be concentrated at node m, which is what exactly what happens. So, in some sense, in this case, the page rank, the page rank uh, very nicely converged to some vector, but it converged to something that doesn't make much sense, right? So all the, all the importance gets concentrated into, into this single node, and both nodes y and a have importance of 0. So this is the problem of spider traps, is that they lead to results that are not intuitive or not what we want. So now how to solve the problem of uh, spider traps is to slightly modify our random walk um, uh, way of thinking about page rank, right? So the way Google solved the solution to the spider traps is to say that at each step, the random walker has two choices. With some, para uh, with some parameter beta, with some probability beta, the random walker will follow the, the outgoing link at random. So the same as the random walker was doing before. But with some remaining probability, the random walker will randomly jump to some other random web page, right? So the way we can think of this now is that we have a random surfer that whenever a random surfer arrives to a new page, flips a coin. With, and if the co this coin says yes, the random walker will pick another link at random and walk that link. And if the coin says no, the random walker will randomly teleport, basically jump to some other random page uh, on the web, right? So this means that the, tele that the random surfer will be able to jump out or teleport out from a spider trap within only a few time steps, right? After a few time steps, the, the coin will say, yes, let's teleport, and the random surfer will be able to jump out, out, of, the, out of the trap. So if you think about this in terms of the graph, here is our graph from before with um, node m being the spider trap. So what we can think of it, of, of this now is that we have these additional links that basically have, uh, with small probability, the random surfer can teleport out of, of any node at any given time. So this means spider traps are no problem anymore. So everything is good. The problem we still have is the dead ends. So let's understand the dead, dead ends problem a bit better. So the problem with dead ends was the following, was basically that these are the pages that have zero out degrees. So their page rank score does not get distributed to any other page in the graph because they don't point to anyone else. So going back to our three, three node uh, graph example, in, in this case, node m is the dead end because the out degree of node m is 0. Okay? So now what we see, if we look at the structure of our matrix m, the first thing we notice is that our matrix m is not stochastic anymore. 
right? So our columns don't sum to 1. In particular, the, the columns of, for node m do not sum to 1. The, the reason for that is because node m has 0 out degree, so it will be all zeros um, in that column of matrix m. So if we look at our set of equations, um, um, what we used to have before was now is that basically the, the m does not, uh, r of m does not, does not appear in any of the equations. And now if we, start, if we would go and run our power iteration, here is, here is basically what happens. We again start with the vector of one thirds, keep, keep multiplying with m in the first iteration, second iteration, third iteration, and after a while all uh, the, our vector basically converges to all zeros. So basically it would say that all web pages in this graph have importance of zero, which is again not, wa not what we want. And basically the problem is that whatever is the pagering score of, of node m, node m is not able to pass this pagering score to any other node in the network, so that pagering score kind of leaks out of our system. So the question is, how do we solve the, the problem we just observed with that end, with that ends? So the, the way we solve the problem is to basically say the following. What we say is that if a node has no outgoing links, then when we reach that node, we will teleport with probability um, 1. So this basically means that, for example, whenever, whenever we reach node m, we will always jump out of it random, uh, uniformly at random and te teleport somewhere else. So if we think, what does this do to our stochastic matrix m and the column corresponding to node m, what happens is that basically now column 1 will have, will have values of 1 over 3 uh, for all, all, the, all its entries. What does this mean? It's basically whenever a random surf surfer comes to m, it teleports out and with probability 1 third lands to any, any other node in the graph. So this is, again, the way using the random jumps or random teleports, how we solve the problem of uh, dead ends.